Bob Dole. Yeah. Bob Dole. Anybody remember uh, the pain? Yeah. Anybody remember the last kind of again? Yeah. Ronnie. You remember all the times that you had to hold your nose and yes. for those? Yes. Well, hold your damn nose this time and beat Hillary. It didn't help. It didn't help. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered if it did. No. I got it, but. There was no, four. No, there was four million no, no, Republicans no. stayed home last time. Or we no, had no, Romney. Or if you had any guts, we might have really addressed that. How many of you remember that when Hillary was doing her health thing, it's where they were going to nationalize the mm -hmm. health system? Mm -hmm. She was all for letting a good many of the senior citizens just pass away, not those in the hospital, yeah, not those that were deathly ill, just anybody who was not working and so forth, just let them just go away. Uh, now she's older, so she might raise the age limit. <laughs> but that's probably still part of it. And you were talking about her qualifications or Trump's lack of qualifications. Her qualifications in politics is failure. That's right, exactly. True. His qualifications as business is success. That's right. So look at those. And he has just as much right, much right to run for president. He's an American citizen. He's over 40. Those are the qualifications to run for president. He's American as qualified as she is. He has, has much more success in his history than she does in hers. He, has, he is qualified to run for president. But his position is really the same as Romney's. He, they say to the conservatives, sit down, shut up, hold your nose, and, and we're going to run rough, rough shot over you. McCain was not my favorite choice, but I promise you, I voted for him yes. over Obama. Amen. And I will vote for Trump. He's not who I necessarily would have chosen when all of this started. But I certainly will vote for him over Hillary. And if you stay home and don't vote, or you don't vote for the president, you go and vote for everybody else, you might as well push the Hillary button because that's who you're going to get. That's right. And, and we know that she's got a history of faith. And if you vote for anybody else, that's what you're doing. Yeah, you know, yeah I was just saying, she was talking about some of the people that we held our nose and voted for, which was McCain, yeah. Romney. Those guys are just as socialist <clears throat> as the Democrats. They've been better than Obama, though. Yeah. I know they would have been there, but at least we have someone here. It is different when you this like this man said right here. When you have a business and you're fighting to make payroll every week, and you pay 72 cents of every dollar that you make to the government, 72 cents of every dollar that comes in goes to the government, in one shape, form, or fashion or another. And when you fought to stay alive, and you see that the small businesses in this country are dying and the jobs are going away because there's no way a small business can carry the overhead that this socialist government is putting on us anymore. There is going to be, there's going to be the rich and the poor in this country in 10 years if we keep going this way. So I think a businessman is a whole lot better to hold my nose for than somebody that is a known socialist like Romney to start with. Who Romney's number one girl, by the way, to help him build Obamacare in Massachusetts, is now the head of the Arkansas DHS. Yeah. The insurance companies told yeah. Governor Asa Hutchinson to hire her because she works for Denton Law Firm in Washington, which is the largest lobbyist group for the insurance company in the world. So if you think things are bad in Washington, they're not any better in Arkansas. Is there another question? Okay. Uh, gentlemen, Artie, we appreciate you talking to everyone here. Other people for coming. Good job. Good job.